video we're going to be talking about strumming patterns, and you can utilize these techniques in either ukulele, guitar, or any other fretted instrument. If you were ever to read music with strumming patterns, you would notice two different things. The down strum, which looks like a V, and the up strum that looks like a sideways bracket. When you play out the pick, you don't attack the strings perpendicularly. You get a lot of thunk sound. What you need to do is pretend that your pick is a painting brush going up and down the strings. You want to take it at about a 45 degree angle. So it'll look like this. So here's our first exercise. Put a C major chord up. Start with four down strums in each measure. One, two, ready, go. Next one we're going to try is a down, up, down, up, eighth note pattern. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, three, four. You need to keep doing that until it becomes second nature. The down, up pattern is what you use for every single one of these techniques that I'm going to teach you. In this example, you'll notice it goes one, two, three, four, and. You're not going to stop going down, up because your hand is actually subdividing the beat. It's going to go like this. One, Two, ready, begin. You can also add different upbeats. Let's try this one together. One, two, ready, begin. How about this one? One, two, ready, begin. Now we're going to get a little more complicated. One, two, ready, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Check yourself to make sure that you are always going up and down and not doing this. See how my hand is pausing? What'll happen is you'll accidentally start to speed up. Let's try one last time. Ready, begin. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Now we're going to get into a few more complicated rhythms. Let's try saying this one with me. Ready, begin. One, and, and three, and, and one, and, and three, and, and one, and, and three N, and one N, and three N. Okay, let's try playing that. One, two, ready, begin. Here's another one. One, two, ready, begin. Next one, one, two, ready, go. This one focuses on the and of each beat. Let's try that one. One, two, ready, begin. This is another one that I think really drives your music. Let's try this one. One, two, ready, and. The cool thing about this one is you should crescendo or get louder the second half. So let's try that together. Start off quiet, get louder, and then get quiet, and then get louder. A one, two, ready, and. So you can put together all of these different rhythms, as long as you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up with your hand, it doesn't matter which ones you actually hit. When you start to play songs by yourself, you'll start to feel it. It'll go with the lyrics, it'll go against the lyrics, and it'll just become natural to you. So if I were to take a simple chord progression, C, A minor, F, G, give each of them a measure, but then change up my strum, 
it would make the song really interesting. You can either listen or play with me. One, two, ready, begin. Go ahead and send me a video response below and show me what you created.